Hello Year 7, this is Lesson 10 in the Dissolving and Separating Booklet. Purifying Salt from Rock Salt. Every day we use salt in cooking and on our meals. When it is dug out of the ground, rock salt is not pure. It contains sand and earth as well as salt. You know what salt looks like. This is where it can come from. Let's have a look at this for a second. Look at this substance on the right hand side in the little white dish. That is rock salt. That doesn't look like salt to me, table salt. That contains sand and it contains dirt. You wouldn't be putting that on your fish and chips. So somehow we've got to go from this sort of dirty, stony looking substance to table salt which is like a white so how do we do that how do we separate out the salt from everything else that's in there think about how you could separate the salt from the sand and the earth remember salt is soluble sand and earth are insoluble they don't dissolve in water how could you speed up the dissolving of the salt? How could you separate out the insoluble solids, the sand and the earth? How do you get the solute, the salt, out of salty water? Hmm. What we'd like you to do is, and this isn't right and it isn't wrong, but I want you to write out a few ideas of your own to the questions above. Write in here and see whether at the end of the experiment you got some of your ideas were, you know, useful, correct, and maybe others weren't as useful. Okay, this is generating thoughts now. So add this into your booklet. Step one, we're going to place lumps of rock salt into a granite bowl called a mortar. And the mortar is this bowl here. Let's have a look at a video at the same time, right? There you go. Oh, and we're starting to bash it up, grind it up. This is excellent. The object in his right hand is called a pestle. The bowl is called the mortar. And we are grinding up those lumps of rock salt into a nice fine powder. Takes a little bit of time. So that was step two. Step two, using the pestle and the mortar, grind up the rock salt into a powder. Now let's see what happens next. the rock salt powder. Add it to water. Let's 
stir it. And it looks like we're going to heat it up. Right, okay. So step three, it looks like we add the powdered rock salt into a beaker that contains, actually it was 150 centimeters cubed of water. Write that in for step three, please. Then, step four, place the rock salt and water onto a tripod. Let's label up the tripod. Heat up the solution using a Bunsen burner. Stir the mixture with a glass rod to increase the rate of dissolving. So what we have here is this is the glass rod. Um, we've got the rock salt inside the beaker. That's how you spell beaker. That's great. Let's go back to the video again. Stirring it, heating it up. Brilliant. The stirring and the heating obviously increases the rate at which soluble chemicals will dissolve into the water. You can see the Bunsen flame is on. And oh, something's going to happen. Step five using tongs, pour the solution into the filter paper. So the filter, ah. That's the funnel. This here is the filter paper. Label these up, please. Write all this information down. Now the residue contains sand and dirt particles. Where's the residue? It's this bit in here. So this is the residue. Insoluble, we don't want that. The conical flask holds the filtrate, which contains both water and dissolved salt. So we've got our conical flask here. And remember, the rock salt contained sand and dirt. We've separated those out now. What we've got left is the filtrate, which is salt water. Okay, we need to get at this salt. We've got to remove the water, right? So let's have a look at the video again. In come the tongs. Pouring in this rock salt solution. Remember the, the sand and the mud particles are going to be trapped here. That's the fil sorry, that's the residue, and the filtrate will be down here. That will be our water and our salt. Brilliant. Look at that. Filtering. Step 
Sarah is pouring in a little bit more of the uh, original solution. And you can see at the bottom, the filtrate is collecting. It's clear. It's salt dissolved in water. And you can clearly see the filtering process occurring here. Just about all of the salt plus the water has got through now. Take away the filter and funnel. Pour the filtrate into a evaporating dish that little dish there so step six pour the salt water into an evaporating dish let's label that up that there is a evaporating dish place onto a tripod and heat up using a Bunsen burner the liquid water will evaporate liquid water evaporates that's that there Okay. Moving back to the video again. So there it is. Evaporating dish on the Bunsen. Turn the Bunsen from a safety flame to a hot flame. And you can see it from the top now. Remember, we did have a clear solution. All the water has been driven off. What is left behind? The salt, the pure salt crystals are bubbling away there. It's the last of the water is being driven off. Move the video on slightly. Okay, it looks like all of the water has been driven off from the evaporating dish. And we'll let this video run. Yeah, using tongs, you can clearly see the pure salt there. Remember, what did that come from? The rock salt. But we've used a number of separating techniques to get to this stage and there you have it look at that table salt wow and so the final part the final step as it were the white substance left within the evaporating dish is of course pure salt this stuff here that will be the end of this lesson well done